Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how short selling works or how selling something short works. So basically, shorting or short selling a security is when you buy a security today and sell it back in the future hoping that the price has actually gone down. So you're essentially betting against that security. So this is essentially the exact opposite of the old adage of you know, long-term investing, of buying low and selling high. And when I say security, at least in this example, I'll be talking about stocks, but a security can be anything. It can be a stock, it can be a Forex pair, it can be an option, it can be pretty much anything, okay? So before I get into this example, I just wanna remind you guys that I am just a regular person on YouTube. Uh, do not take this as financial advice. This is just something they put another tool in your financial toolbox. So uh, let's get right into it. And as always guys, smash the like button. So let's take John the investor, okay? So John the investor has been looking, let's call him John. He's been looking at shares of a hypothetical company called Fluber. So Fluber is basically a ride sharing app which allows you to summon someone with a car, it picks you up and drops you off at a new location. It's kind of like a taxi. Uh, it would be really cool if they came out with something like this. I don't know if it exists yet. But Fluber is a publicly traded company trading at $100 per share. So John is wrapping up his uh, Sunday morning basketball game and he's playing with the judge of all judges that has no checks and balances. He can just change laws on a whim, okay? So this judge tells John, hey John, you know, I know you're looking at Fluber, but we may be implementing some legislation that's really gonna impact their business. We may ban 70% you know, of their business. So be careful if you're looking at companies like Fluber or Flift or any of these ride, hypothetical ride-sharing companies, okay? So with this uh, insider knowledge, uh, John the investor thinks to himself, hmm, how can I make money off of the uh, price per share going down of Fluber? So if this legislation really does take place, you know, Flift is going to get impacted big time. Fluber is going to get impacted big time. How can I make some money off this? So uh, John goes to his broker. So let's call it uh, TD Ameritrade or Ally Invest or any of these brokers that allow you to short stocks. So uh, very quickly, this is a real life example now. <laughs> uh, these brokerages that are big, they basically have inventories of shares and they and their clients obviously own shares of companies like Fluber and Flift and all the companies that we're just talking about hypothetically. Um, basically, they allow John to borrow these shares with his margin account. So um, margin is a FINRA regulated feature. So you basically have to maintain a certain level of funds and you have to have a margin account to be able to short sell. That's a topic for a different day. I'm not gonna go into those details, but you need to be aware of that. So John, let's say for example, he wants to short 100 shares of Fluber at $100. So he's into this for 10 grand, okay? Can you guys see that? Perfect. So he's borrowing 100 shares from TD Ameritrade or Ally Invest or whoever, and they say, oh, you wanna borrow 100 shares at today's market price of 100 bucks a share? Sure, we'll do that for you. However, we're expecting you to pay back these 100 shares at some later date, okay? So now let's say that legislation really does take place and it absolutely destroys this, the share price. Let's say it drops to $50 a share, okay? Boom, Fluber gets crushed. So these 100 shares, John still owes this. He still owes this to his broker that let him borrow it on margin. So you essentially borrow it and sell it immediately for whatever the market price is at the time of borrowing the stock or shorting the stock. So uh, the 100 shares are now 50 bucks a share. So John goes in there and swoops them up for five grand, okay? 5K if you can see that. John made the difference here of the spread. John just profited $5,000 because he basically borrowed them at $100 a share. He's into it for 10 grand. He fulfilled his obligation of paying back the broker of 100 shares, except he owns them at 50, okay? So he's basically taking it at market value um, from before the legislation. He's paying back his obligation at 50, and he's making the spread of five grand. That's his arbitrage, okay? However, let's say this goes the other way. 
And let's say that legislation never goes through and Fluber and Fliff, their great ideas, actually skyrocket to 150 a share. John still has the 100 share obligation that he needs to pay back, except now he basically has to pay this back at some future date. And if this price never goes down, John can actually experience infinite losses, okay? But for this example, let's just say he has to buy them back at 150. He's now into it for 15 grand. Remember, he originally acquired it for 10. Now he has to owe $5,000, so he lost $5,000 on this trade, okay? So this is basically how short selling works in a nutshell. The, someone speculates on a certain security, the broker or whoever allows them to borrow the shares, they sell them at that price at market value, they go back into the market, uh, repurchase those shares at what they anticipate at a lower price, and basically making the difference on the spread. It can work in the exact opposite way. If the price goes up, you lose money. If the price goes down, you make money. So um, very quickly, the pros of short selling are that you can potentially have high profits. So if you are right about your speculation and the stock price does go down, uh, John obviously made money at this price point, okay? Um, little initial capital needed is another pro. And the fact that John never own these shares. He basically used the margin account to borrow these shares. It was sold instantly at $100 per share. And now basically he's refulfilling his obligation of 100 shares at a much lower price. Okay. Nothing came out of his pocket except for that margin minimum that FINRA requires that we talked about. And if this video ages, obviously all this legislation can change. I'm just telling you how it is right now. And then finally, you can actually hedge against your holdings. So say John is a long-term owner of Fluber. He wants to own Fluber for 30 years because he thinks it's gonna be a great stock, uh, ultimately, um, but he knows that there's gonna be little seasonal dips in their business. Let's say wintertime Fluber slows down by a lot and he knows uh, the price is gonna go down in wintertime. He can use uh, short selling as a way to hedge against his long-term position and make money even when the stock goes down, okay? So what are some cons? Some potential cons are that you can have potential unlimited losses. So if you remember this, when the price kept going up and up and up and up and up, that only meant that John has to repay the 100 share obligation at a higher price point, okay? So he was in it for 10 grand and he can only buy back the 100 uh, for 15 grand. Make sense? So uh, there's also the use of needing a margin account. That's the other con. Uh, a margin, let's be honest, you're borrowing shares. It's like borrowing money from a bank. It's a double-edged sword. You can use mortgages to acquire a bunch of rental properties, but when those rental properties stop producing income, you still owe basically the 10 grand or the $100 a share on the rental properties. You still have to pay that back no matter what your investment is doing, whether it's good or bad. Uh, and then finally, uh, sometimes brokers have interest on the margin accounts because again, you are borrowing that money and you do have to pay interest on that. So I know this was a little bit more technical than my other videos, but I just wanted to introduce you to the world of short selling and how it works. Uh, as always, you guys, if you got value from the video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, share the video with a friend, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, everybody, have a prosperous day.